Nothing else is real I like the way you play, boy Show me why you play, boy What does love mean to me? Love <laughs> means to me um, Oh god What does love mean to me? What does love mean to me? Love to me is putting that person first. Love means having someone to share your happiness with, your sorrow with, uh, good times, bad times. Having a caring, compassionate, and respectful relationship with another human being. You know, I think what love means to me, and I, I've seen it very much so in Dan and Sherry's relationship, is at the end of a long day, you come home, and you get to sit on the couch with that person who is your soulmate. And I think that love is all about um, its balance, its, its tenderness, its respect. Putting up with your spouse, even when he refuses to put the dishes into the dishwasher. And making sure you pay the bills on time. If you don't do that, they get mad. And that's all you care about in the world, just you and her just being together with that person. I don't think there's anything more important in life than to have true, Friends, caring, and compassionate. I'll say it in an expression. I'm, it's enjoying one another uh, through thick and thin. And still going to bed every night and saying, I love you. That's love. Yeah. Love means finding your best friend, someone that you can be with forever, someone that understands how you're feeling, someone that takes care of you. And Sitting on the couch, eating mac and cheese, with the dog that smells like fish sitting on top of us. <laughs> That's what it means to me. Someone that always wants to be around you um, means spending your life with someone, and that's what I have. Everything you pray for, everything you play for, baby, turn around. Mind if I sit down? Everything you pray for. Everything you play. We looked at a lot of dresses. <laughs> a lot of dresses. But when I finally put on a bigger dress, I was like, oh, this is what I want. <laughs> Congratulations. I love you. Breathe. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. She keeps me warm. Keeps me warm. I'm not crying on Sundays. Oh. I am the father of the bride and also father of this my new son. I have been blessed with two children. This is really tough for me because they're my little girls and I'm losing them. But I'm losing them to she keeps great me man. And congratulations. Dan, I love you. I'm so excited to get married. I can't wait to see you. It's going to be awesome, just like you said it would be. <laughs> Sherry, I love you with all my heart. And I'm just like so excited to be with you forever. Hello. <laughs> Can I turn around? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let me take a picture. <laughs> yes. There truly is no better day than when you marry your best friend. I used to believe that Dan was the lucky one to have my sister. But I've learned over the time that they are lucky to have each other. What they've what they have is so precious and special. Why did I think Dan and Sherry would be a good fit? Well, Dan is really unique, and <laughs> Sherry has a lot of her own quirks. And I thought that that they just would mesh really well together. Yes, technically all my fault, <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> they separately told us, uh, "Hey." Come out with me. Well, I got, hey, come out with me. We'll have fun. Don't talk to the guys. It's fine. Whatever. Dan got. Hey, this girl looked at all your Facebook pictures. She thinks you're really hot. Yeah, because girls do that. Right? 
having a really bad day, my maid of honor convinced me to go out with her. And I was like, you have to come out, you have to come out, you have to come to this wine tasting thing with me. And I can't be with Dan, Derek, and my husband, Ryan. <laughs> and we went to a wine tasting at a vineyard in Jersey, and she said, don't worry, you don't have to talk to anybody, just hang out with me, uh, no big deal. So we all just end up having some drinks at Heritage Winery, head over to Landmark in Glassboro. And then we went to a bar, and I ended up sitting next to Dan. We ended up talking. He was really funny and really sweet, and I really enjoyed talking to him, which I still do. We don't actually really talk for the first couple Hour. hours yeah. or so, yeah. Until um, after the buffalo wing. And I don't know how she fell in love with Dan, but he uh, got the hottest wings possible at Landmark. And I guess Dan felt the need to either impress Sherry or maybe he really liked the hot wings. And the waitress even said to him, you know, they're like really hot. And he's like, got this. I decided that it would be really smart to get the hottest wings on the menu. And he ate them all and was sweating profusely. Pouring sweat. All the way down like taking her napkin and wiping himself down. She still liked me after that, so I knew, okay, this, this girl might be a keeper. Uh, but at the end of that, somehow they ended up in the parking lot for their first kiss. <laughs> well, I didn't see a whole, whole lot other than from my car. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you guys didn't know that, but maybe you did, I don't know. I kissed her and uh, she ended up like walking away and tripping over a curb and falling on the ground and let me fall on my butt on the ground. He did reach down and pick me up though, so it was pretty classic. <laughs> She's awesome. She looks awesome. Amazing. You're beautiful. Thank you are you. beautiful. <laughs> I think we're getting married. I think so. Are we? Yeah. You gonna make it? As long as I walk down the aisle, we're getting married. Okay. Married. We're getting married. We're getting married. <laughs> so Dan asked me to marry him in front of Independence Hall. I uh, had the ring in my like wallet, wrapped up in tissue, like toilet paper, because I didn't want to. I wanted to be able to feel it in there so that I knew that it didn't fall out. We walk him like five miles at a time through the city. The dog looks like he's going to fall over. His tongue's hanging out of his mouth. We're not, we're not sure how he's gonna make it. I'm like, Dan, is the dog okay? Dan, is the dog okay? And he's like, dog's fine, dog's fine. Looked like he was probably gonna die. So I was like, yeah, oh, this is a good place as any. Let's do it. And he kneels down, he says, I'm gonna check on the dog. I was like, Sherry, he wants us to be his parents forever. The dog just told me that he wants us to be his parents forever. Will you marry me? And I said, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, no. Will you marry me? And she's like, what? <laughs> and he said, no, no, not kidding. This is happening. And I'm like, no, seriously, I have a ring. <laughs> I have a ring. Look, look, look at this ring. Like, what do we have to do? Like, I got this ring, so let's do this. And I said, yes, of course. Um, we kissed, we did get a few claps. Then we were like, let's get out of here before anybody else sees us. <laughs> Basically hightailed it out of there. Baby, I will be loving you till we're 70. And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23. You are some of their closest friends. That's why they have asked for you to stand with them today. Always love them, support them, and encourage them. And as you do today, always be there for them, right beside them. You are my best friend, Sherry. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah. You yeah. tell me that you love me. I love you. <laughs> today I give myself to you in marriage. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. Dan, you are my best friend. To laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to love you in the good times and the bad. To laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. <laughs> These things I give you today. These things I give you today. And all, all the days of our lives. And all the days of our lives.
So therefore, on your behalf, as their family, their friends, their loved ones, husband or wife, you may kiss your bride. Woo! One, two, three! Best is yet to be. Love you. I hope they have the best marriage possible, and I hope it's as great as mine been with my wife. Just stick together, talk to each other, and be open with each other. And I think she is the perfect partner for my wonderful son. Uh, Martin and I always knew this would happen from the very first time that you met each other at Heritage. Okay, that might be a little bit of a lie, but shortly after that, we knew that you two would, were perfect for each other. Thanks for introducing me to my husband. I felt it was only fair that I had to introduce you to your wife. Congratulations. We love you both and we wish you all the health and wealth and happiness in the world. A, a wise, wise woman once said that a wise man once said that a wise man once said that life is not about the number of breaths you take, but the Jumped in the camp, here I am for the first time. Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. This is all so crazy. Everybody seems so famous. My tummy's turning and I'm feeling kind of homesick. Too much pressure and I'm nervous. Cause when the taxi man turned on the radio, and a Jay Z song was on, and a Jay Z song was on, and a Jay Z song was on. So I put my head If it came to think of it, like this past year when Dan and Sherry were planning this wedding, Dan didn't really spend as much time going out and doing silly stuff with us. It was more that Dan was planning to start this life together with him and Sherry. So he was happy to come home from work after a long day, walk the dog, fix Sherry dinner, and spend the evening together with Sherry. And that's when I knew that Dan had found that woman that he was gonna spend the rest of his life with. In the five years that I've known him, he has proven what a stand-up kind of man that he is. And I knew that this would be the person I would want my best friend to spend her life with. I wish you all the best of life and happiness and many babies. And may you two, like, just have a great life together. No matter what life throws your way, trust in your love and there will be no obstacle that you can't overcome. They, they really liked each other when they first started dating. And they would spend the entire weekends together at either Dan's house with his mom or at Sherry's house with her parents in New Jersey. But that was when, you know, they were just starting to date and they got you know, closer and closer, and Sherry would spend, you know, first one night, and then maybe two nights, and then it became a weekend with an add-on of Friday. So she was a very um, frequent visitor at our home. And, you know, in the past, I've wondered, like, when is this gonna happen for me? And honestly, with Dan, I didn't, I, I didn't ever wonder, because I, I just figured it would happen. Bye, bye, bye.